Consider light emitted from a star millions of light years away. As this light travels through vacuum of space and reaches us, it gets dim. Light is made up of tiny fundamental bits called photons. So, does gaps occur between these photons as they travel through space? To answer this question, we need to know the fundamental nature of a photon. Photon is considered to have both particle and wave nature. Meaning, a photon acts a little like a particle and a little like a wave, but is actually something more complex. If you look at light as a collection of little particles, you could say that dimmer light has its photons more spread out. But they are not spread out in space while traveling. Rather, they are spread out in time and space as they are received. Consider a sufficiently sensitive photon counter device that can detect the reception of light one photon at a time. When you shine light at such a device, it does not receive the light as a steady stream. Rather, it receives the light as a series of discrete bundles of energy, separated by gaps in time. Similarly, shine light at a sufficiently sensitive array of photon counters, and it receives the light at point locations, with spatial gaps between them. When viewed in this way, a light beam always has gaps between its photons, whether the light be very bright or very dim. Apart from the particle nature, light has properties of a wave. If you look at light as a wave, then there is no gaps. A continuous beam of light emitted by a star will start with no gaps and therefore develop no gaps as it travels. Spreading out a wave over a larger area just causes the wave strength to weaken but does not cause gaps to form. So, what is really happening with the light? A helpful way to look at this problem is to consider that the starlight travels through space for millions of years acting like a wave and then acts like a collection of particles when hitting a photon detector, a telescope, or an eye. Each photon therefore collapses from mostly wave-like to mostly particle-like when detected. So, photons act like a wave when they are traveling with no gaps in between, and acts like particles when being detected with gaps in time and location between them. The act of detecting the light causes light to collapse from wave-like to particle-like and therefore introducing gaps between them. Please like, comment, and share this video with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos.